Chocolates and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on the latest stories. We start with Memphis Opai. As 11 reported at Barcelona are prepared to sanction the sale of the misfit striker in January for 5 million euros. We are going to be discussing more on the report as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about left-back Marcos Alonso. As it has been reported at Barcelona, has set to offer a two-year contract to the Versatile defender. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, before we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona are set for a busy period as we enter the mid-season hiatus in club football in light of the upcoming FIFA World Cup. The club are in desperate need of trimming the squad, especially given the inflated salary structure. Although Barcelona were able to offload multiple fringe players in the summer, they are still looking to sanction the sale of a few more unwanted stars such as Memphis Depay. The Dutchman was linked with a move away from Camp Nou in the summer. He was even poised to join Juventus before the move broke down. The player subsequently confirmed that he would remain at Barcelona. However, Memphis Depay has failed to make a significant impact since the start of the season. He has fallen behind the likes of Ansu Fati, Rafinha, Usman Dembele and even Ferran Torres in the pecking order having featured in just over 100 minutes of league football. Just injuries, of course, have not even helped the Pais cause either, thus compelling Barcelona to consider a January sale for the attacker. According to journalist Javi Miguel, Barcelona are prepared to offload the former Manchester United starlet in January. The club are believed to be willing to sanction a sale if they receive an offer of around 5 million euros. However, with the Pais contract at Camp Nou expiring at the end of the season, it could be difficult for Barcelona to force his departure. The player is already unwilling to join a club that cannot offer him Champions League football and has reportedly rejected advances from Sevilla. There has been reports of interest from his former club Manchester United, who could be in need of a forward as Cristiano Ronaldo looks set to leave following his exclusive or his explosive interview with Piers Morgan. If such a move materializes, Memphis Depay could end up facing Barcelona in the UEFA Champions League playoffs. The situation could perhaps get clearer after the end of the FIFA World Cup, where Depay is expected to play a starring role for his country. The report that just keep coming with each passing day concerning Memphis Depay, you know, is getting too much, of course. His future right now looks so uncertain from all indications. The player, of course, have been injured since the first international break and haven't kicked the ball ever since, since the month of September. Even though there are some in the Barca camp, according to reports, who believe that Memphis Depay have been faking that injury um, to stay more longer so that he can stay fit for the World Cup, not to risk coming back from injury and maybe carry another injury where it would likely sideline him for the FIFA World Cup that is starting soon. So, but Memphis Depay came to social media and blasted those kind of reports, saying that he can't, nobody should ever doubt, you know, his loyalty to Barca, his professionalism should never be doubted. And of course, he reacted very brutally. I quite, I saw that message from Memphis after those rumors were floating around the newspapers. So Memphis Depay, according to reports, will play the World Cup very well, of course. The first game against um, the Senegal, something like that. I think they say he will play, but he might not start the game, you know, according to reports. So Memphis Depay's future at Barcelona continue to be a hot topic of discussion, with many reports talking about where he might go. The January transfer window that will be coming very soon will come with a lot of drama, a lot of twists. And Memphis Depay's name, it's not surprising that we will hear a lot about Memphis because... The way things are showing, Barca want to to sell Memphis, to want to kick out Memphis from the club. Um, one thing that we have to know is the salary structure of Barcelona is something that the Barca board themselves are so eager to trim down. Uh, knowing fully well how the La Liga works when it comes to financial fair play, 
something that Barcelona are so eager to do. Um, despite the fact that Gerard Piquet retired from the club, you know, many thought, including myself, I thought at least that retirement from Piquet will help us a lot when it comes to our salary bill. But it's still, it's still baffling that Barcelona can't even sign players in January as it stands. Laporta himself confirmed two days ago that we can sign players in January, according to La Liga. So there's no way, except that maybe Memphis Depay can go, then we have that little room on a wage budget that they can at least bring in a new face. But would that happen? Memphis Depay brought some two strict conditions yesterday about that, that if Barca think they want to sell him in January, first of all, they need to sell him to a club that plays Champions League and to a club where he wants to be a leader, a club that plays Champions League football. That is, he wants an elite club. Then also, Barca should pay all his money that will be due, like all the money that they are still owing him till June next year when his contract comes to an end. And those are tough conditions that me and you will know that Barca cannot do that. So let's see how January window will look like. Then on to the next story of discussion. Why players such as Hector Bellerin and Frankie C have had a relatively slow start to their Barcelona career. Marcos Alonso has been one of the players who has virtually taken no time to settle into the new surroundings. A seasoned veteran, Alonso has been highly useful for Xavi due to his versatility. Although a left back by trade, the Barca coach has utilized his qualities at centre back especially in the absence of Andres Christensen and Ronald Araujo due to injuries. In light of Alonso's utility, Barcelona are prepared to reward with, um, to reward with him a fresh contract ex extension for up to two years, according to Marca. The Spanish publication claims that the Catalans are determined to keep hold of Alonso at all costs. They wanted to sign the former Chelsea star on the three-year contract initially, but financial fair play regulations means that the player could only sign a one-year deal. Nevertheless, with Alonso showcasing his true utility and experience at Barcelona, the club wants to secure his future by handing him a two-year contract. The new deal could come in the form of a direct two-year contract. Um, the, alternatively, Barca could hand him a one-year contract with the option to extend the deal for another year. The latter could be a likely scenario as Barca look to keep their options open as far as financial fair play regulations are concerned. Alonso's contract extension could go a long way in helping Barcelona secure a core of the defense, at least for the next couple of years. With Gerard Piquet announcing his retirement and Jody Alba's future uncertain, the club requires some experience in the defensive unit. Alonso's extension to that end could be a step in the right direction as Barcelona continue their quest to strengthen the squad and restore lost glory. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.